好的，各位来宾晚安。谢谢谢谢。也好高兴再次回来啊，主持我们的展望演讲。今天已经是这一系列的第四场，时间过得真快。今天是跟南极有关的。这阵子三毛这几个月都特别的天文。四月十号是大家期待已久的黑洞，无论你喜不喜欢那张照片，反正看到了黑洞。那已经很难得的一个进展，人类的大进展。因为我们自己当年博士论文做的就是黑洞吸积盘，遥远星系的黑洞吸积盘，所以特别感动。但是上礼拜我听说张一辉老师也做了一个简单的介绍，讲了讲黑洞。那我们今天就不要多说。可是呢，昨天晚上好有趣 ，NASA 据说又发表了一个新闻，讲的是什么？一个小行星。名字取的真的是很特别 ，Apophis 是一个混乱之神，他就把它叫做死神星。反正现在搞新闻媒体的是语不惊人死不休。死神星，那那颗小行星呢，在十年之后，会以非常近的距离接近地球，从地球旁边擦身而过。多近？如果我讲几万公里，大家会觉得遥远还是近？地球到月亮三十八万五千公里，十分之一的距离。大概三万多公里的距离，那个小行星从地球旁边擦身而过，又叫死神，所以名字也不好，距离也太近。但这个东西呢，已经是我们自己在在科幻小说里面的题材了。二零二九年，想当然尔，那个时候科技会发展到你能够派出太空船去研究那个小行星，所以这阵子有好多。很有意思的题目是跟天文有关的。今天我们要把大家拉到地球上遥远的尽头去，南极。既然讲到南极，我们不免做一点植入性行销。如果大家有任何机会到台中去，到自然科学博物馆，刚刚开放了一个展览，叫做《爱恋南极》（In Love with South Pole）。It's a new exhibition in our museum. Oh, you should be there because you've been so so many times in South Pole. 刚刚问了南教授 ，How many times have you been to South Pole? 他去了几次？他说六七次吧。<laughs> you you just lost track of your number of times. 他已经失去了，没有办法追踪他去的次次数了。去太多次了。爱恋南极是谁做的？一个日本老先生，池田红 ，Ikeda 桑，八十四岁。去了南极二十四次。An old gentleman went to South Pole twenty-four times and took all the pictures. 刚开始你看到的照片是冰山，很漂亮的冰山。这次在博物馆的展览是完整的，包含他的破冰船、他自己的照片，还有各种各样的企鹅。各位，南极有哪几种有名的企鹅啊？国王企鹅、皇帝企鹅、阿德利企鹅，那个企鹅的。天敌是谁？海豹跟海狮，所以那那个影照片漂亮的不得了。然后呢，整个展览在博物馆像是一个美丽的画廊，在地球科学厅的二楼走廊上面。我看了我都觉得很感动。车天红老先生来了，一进到那个展场就开始掉眼泪，感情如此丰富。看到一个展，他自己的摄影作品做的这么漂亮。但你知道吗？在开幕典礼上，咱们的前前前任馆长李佳维。这个大科学家，语不惊人死不休。他说了：“今天我们的名字叫《爱恋南极》，改天大家说不定会担心南极跟痛恨南极。”你知道为什么？李佳伟一天到晚讲这种有趣的事情。上次他说了要呼吁企业家帮忙，保育一种濒临灭绝的动物。大家知道是什么吗？鸡。<笑>你说鸡？你说我刚晚饭才吃炸鸡的，怎么是濒临灭绝的？各位，为什么？他说了，大概有三四十种原生种的鸡，在野外，可是人类只挑其中的一两种，长得快、肉又多的，持续大量繁殖。全世界大概有五十三亿只鸡，每一年消耗掉三十几亿只鸡，那是人类巨大蛋白质的来源。但都是同一种鸡，万一一个病毒病毒侵袭这种鸡的话，大量鸡瞬间就死掉，所以人类的蛋白质需求就会缺一大块。你说这是不是濒临灭绝？<笑>他讲完以后，企业家乖乖掏钱。争先恐后的资助他，去保育这个濒临灭绝的鸡。所以下回你到麦当劳或者到肯德基，你自己要
，要小心一点，不要吃太多濒临灭绝的生物啊。所以李佳维生这样讲。然后这次在南极的记者会里面，他就说了，为什么你会担心南极，甚至痛恨南极？因为因为全球暖化的关系，南极的表面，大家知道三千米的大冰块，上面已经出现了好多高温的湖泊。我湖跟冰上面就是零度了，零度是高温的。那这些高温的水呢，在南极的表面。逐渐渗入冰层，下水道渗入到冰层底端，在冰层底端产生了润滑的效果。那整块很可能，整块巨大的大陆的一部分就会崩解，掉到海里面去。现在你会看到什么拉森冰架，或者是这个冰棚、那个冰棚的崩解，一下下来几分之一的阿拉斯加，这都是小 case。全球暖化让海平面每一年升高零点五公分、零点八公分，小 case。李佳伟说了。这种润滑效应一发生，整大块的南极大陆的一大部分瞬间掉到海里，全世界的海平面瞬间上升三公尺。三公尺，我们那些友邦就没有了。为什么讲友友邦没有了？是因为前昨天还，昨天早上我还在科博馆，赶回去干嘛？接待友邦的访问团，什么友邦？就是受到这种威胁的友邦，图阿鲁。图阿鲁从什么地方来？从中山医大的医院来。这些邦交国来到了台湾，都是来健康检查，一点礼貌都没有。我们这边还警察开道，博物馆馆长带着人站在博物馆前面迎接，车子一到门口一打开还在睡觉，那些人还在睡。下来根本不知道谁是团长，也没有人跟你握手，简直就是那个蛮荒之邦。这就是我们的邦交国，看得真的很难过。我们到底在干什么？讲偏了。<笑>那李佳伟讲到南极的故事<咳>，但是回到我们的科学论点上面哈，南极，各位可以做什么科学研究？大家、呃、听了展望这么多年了，最熟悉的四月十号的黑洞。里面有 South Pole Telescope 南极望远镜，也就是因为南极望远镜的关系，部分原因让那个照片花了这么久的时间才做出来。二零一七年四月份拍的联合观测，到二零一九年四月份才开记者会宣布，竟然大家期待是个惊人、壮观、美丽的照片，竟然出现是一个照相机失焦的照片。我这样讲，然后第二天联合报就登了，我现在终于为人家很不高兴。看到我的面还说，晚上你说的真好，但你知道吗？为什么有好多小朋友就说了，孙老师，这种一张照片为什么要花两年？花两年才搞出这样的照片来？你给我两小时，我从小画家上搞一下，两分钟就做出来了，很好笑。但你知道，我们没有时间讲那个重要的科学进展，为什么这样？就是因为南极。南极，二零一七年四月份，各位，二零一七年四月份是什么样季节在南极？在北半球四月份是什么季节？春天迈向夏天，在南极就是秋天迈向冬天，冬天飞机下不去，所以那个 data 根本出不来，要到十月才出来。但不管怎么样，南极第一个可以做黑洞观测，连线做黑洞观测，还有没有？南极做什么观测？重力波，重力波。我们的台大物理系学弟郭兆林在 Stanford， 他们的团队 Bicep Two 就在南极做重力波的观测。现在我们很重要的陈培生老师。还有我们南极有教授，他们在南极做微中子观测，把整个南极的冰块当做一个实验室跟侦测器来侦测微中子。那上次南老师来，我就记 last time you were here and the talk was great， 讲的好精彩。那这次来呢，还有另外带了一位我们年轻同学王世伟，世伟在哪里？世伟在后面。哎，你不是要做翻译，怎么跑那儿去了？啊？我待会儿世伟可以帮忙南老师做翻译。他们都去了南极，连世伟也去了南极。有一段时间，我 try to communicate with Professor Nan for this talk, but I cannot, I could not contact him because he was on the ship, on a boat in the ocean. From, <laughs> from where? From New Zealand? Yeah, from New Zealand to South Pole. 所以在南极到纽西兰之间是搭船的，所以呢，在船上，在在那个。航行的过程中搭上了七天到十天，是没有办法用 email 联络的，不知道是个假期还是怎么样。但是我听世伟讲，风暴不少
搭船，但是是个韩国船，是 Korean Korean ship。You must have plenty of kimchi。有很多<笑>泡菜很多，韩国泡菜很多。但是待会你要听他讲，在船上的生活很辛苦，所以科学研究到了南极还是蛮辛苦的。那不管怎么样，我觉得今天能够请南教授来跟大家讲一下，为什么台湾的泰鲁格会被搬到南极去。好，我们欢迎 ，Let's welcome j u Thank you very much for warm welcome. <laughs> so it's quite impress, impressed here. There's so many people here in the Friday night. Actually, we are supposed to go bar for drinking, right? <laughs> But you guys are here. All of you guys here for listening my talk for science. Amazing. <laughs> Normally, I feel loneliness. Okay, when I do this, you know, the scientific research, okay, because we are only, you know, limited people, okay, doing the science, but oh my God, you know, <laughs> so I didn't know there's so much interesting, you know, from you know the many people, okay, exciting, okay, so I'm gonna show this, you know, I'm gonna share some of my story about my research, okay, especially you know related to the. The, the you know the South Pole. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry I cannot speak you know the Chinese. Okay, <laughs> it's the end. The end. <laughs> so you know the you know the, I have my you know the translator. Okay, I just employed today. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Wang Su Hao. Okay, actually he is you know the our you know the my student actually. Okay. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Right? Okay. Okay, two days. Okay, we have you know the two keywords. Okay, if you understand this, you know the you know the two keywords. Okay, I think the, you know the, you, you guys understand everything. Actually, the one is Antarctica. Okay, the other is ultra high energy neutrinos. Uh, uh, so today, if you can understand this, the key word is Antarctica and ultra high energy neutrinos. Then everyone will get full. Okay, actually, the one is you know the Antarctica. I had many many pictures about Antarctica. But I don't have any picture <laughs> on neutrino, so you know I just put the the character here. Uh, Wei Zhongzi, no pictures, so we just put this Chinese letter as the Wei Zhongzi. Okay, so talking about you know the Antarctica, okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, how cold is it? Okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, how cold is it? Okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, how cold is it? Okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, how cold is it? Okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, how cold is it? Okay, so actually this is one of the frequent questions. Okay, this maybe after maybe this is about five minutes. Okay, wearing you know the, this kind of shoes, and then you know the thirty minutes later become like this. Yeah, so in the North North Pole, the North Pole station, uh, the right is five minutes, and the left is thirty minutes after. Actually, the the weather at this time was not really bad. Okay, because of no wind. Okay, but one wind the wind come, okay, actually the weather was not really bad. Okay, because of no wind. Okay, once the wind comes, actually everything change. Uh, in this situation, there is no wind situation. 如果有风的话，情况会更更恶劣。So actually, I cannot explain. Okay, you guys must go there to feel. Yeah. 大家一定要亲身体验一下才才知道。Okay, the other question is about you know the the window at the wind. So I had I prepared a video to show. This is amazing wind. This wind speed was about 20 meters per second. 每秒二十公尺左右 Oh, sorry. There is some mistake here. No, this this is a problem here. Okay. Okay. How do you feel? Actually, I was feel very cold because I was holding camera to take to take this video. <laughs> actually, this I, I got the frostbite here. Okay, after taking this video. <laughs> okay, several questions before beginning. So first one, how many students in this room? Raise your hand. Oh, a lot. Oh my God! Great. 
Second question, do you like science? Uh, Raise your hand. Oh my god. Last one. <coughs> do you like weather in Taipei? Uh, <laughs> okay. If you are student, <coughs> if you like science, if you don't like weather in Taipei, okay, that's a future candidate to join us. <laughs> Okay, please register your name. Okay, please come to our lab. Yeah, if you like you like the weather, but you don't like the weather, please Okay, so this is self, <coughs> a brief myself introduction. Okay, here my name is Nan Zhu Yao, Ji Yu Nam. Okay, and I'm a scientist working on this, you know, the the particle astrophysics. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I got my PhD, okay, dealing with the 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 B particle physics, okay, in Japan. Also, after I got the PhD, I joined the Amanda Ice Cube experiment at the South Pole. I did another experiment. Actually, still I'm doing the experiment on the Anita. Actually, I'm going to explain this this project on this talk. 然后也有参加南极洲的阿尼塔实验，那接下来我们会有更详细的介绍。Third Antarctica experiment is cream experiment. Okay, this is balloon experiment. That's I'm not going to cover this today. 呃，另外一个实验是南极的 cream 实验，但今天不会介绍。For several years, I worked for the space satellite experiment for the gamma ray burst. 呃，另外老师有参加呃卫星计划观测呃伽马射线暴。Oh. Also, we have the copper of experiment it's still going on, you know, the ARA for the South Pole, and the, the other is a Tauroko, okay, the, in the, Taiwan. Uh, uh, my wife always complained, okay, asking me, why you like very strange things? <laughs> Something very difficult to understand. Also, very hard. Also, cold. And the windy. Actually, that's why I love my wife. <laughs> okay, it's very nice you don't translate to Korean. <laughs> All right, so first question. Actually, this is my, my talk begins. The why Antarctica? Okay. See, you know, the, actually, this is a letter, okay, when I applied the position in the UC Irvine for the ice, you know, the ice, cube, ice cube experiment, I wrote this, okay, my dream is to reach the South Pole because my name is South. <laughs> Amazingly, I got the answer from the university, okay, you got a job, please come. That's the beginning of my story. So, you know, the, because of my name, I have to go there, okay? So, everybody's doing that, right? Okay? What is your name? No, last name. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this is, this, this, you know, this, I'm, you know this, all Koreans doing the same thing, including President. President Moon, okay, having the plan to go the, you know, the moon, okay, we have the Korean lunar, uh, lunar explore, you know, the explore of, you know, the program, okay. I think that soon, maybe in 10 years, okay, Korean team will reach the, you know, the moon. Yeah, I think this is kind of challenging business. Yeah, but at least he has a plan. Yeah, Okay, more challenging thing is actually this, I don't know the answer, okay? He is following the, following the, following in the, the next slide. This guy. <laughs> okay. Probably he needs to change his name. <laughs> Okay, so, so this is the answer for science. Actually, this, you know, the why we have to go to the South Pole or Antarctica is the best place to build a new telescope. 
我们到南极洲旅游就是要建，呃，那是最好的地方建造伪中子望远镜。But we have question. What does it mean by neutrinos? 什么是伪中子呢 ？Okay, so we have to understand neutrino first. The neutrino is the one of the elementary particles. 那是基本粒子之一。For example, talking about elementary particles. Uh, 如果讲到呃基本粒子。Okay, let's start from the atom. Okay, we have atom here. 呃，原子。呃 ，everybody knows electrons. 呃，电子。Actually, this we have the nucleus in the middle of the atom. 呃，中央有个原子核。Consists of the neutrons and the protons. 呃，由质子和中子构成。They are consist of the three quarks. 呃，它们又有又从夸克组成。Okay, so you know there are three kinds of quarks. 这里有三种。They are up, down, charm, strange, top, bottom. 呃，呃，六种，跟这六种夸克。This is amazing that okay, there are six kind of electrons. 呃，这里有六种电子。Okay, there are heavy electrons, which is muon. 呃，有一种叫 muon， 它是一种比较重的电子。Heaviest electron, which is tau. 还有一种更重的电子叫陶子。Specialized electron, which Do not have electric charge. 另外三个是特别的电子，但是它们不带电。They are all brotherhood. 它们彼此像兄弟一样。We call the electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and the tau neutrinos. 呃，它们分别叫电子微中子、秒子微中子跟陶微中子。Another thing is that their mass is really tiny. 它们质量非常的小。For a long time, they didn't believe that they, you know, they don't have any mass. 呃，我们曾经以为它是不带质量的。Recently, they just discovered that there must be a tiny mass. But even I don't know how small it is. Not only the mass, their size is really small. This is the size. Okay, this we call the cross section. Okay, this is area, square centimeter. Okay. 0.7 times 10 to the minus 36. 这是它，呃，底下是它的截面积，十的负三十六次方平方公分。Oh, this size change depending on energy. 呃，这个大小随着能量会改变。It doesn't look like strange, right? So also my size change depending on my energy. I just eat the dinner, become large. 呀，这个能，这个大小随着能量改变，就像呃人一样，吃了饭大小会改变。Talk about this size. I I prepare some slides. Oh, 呃，为了解释这个尺寸，我们这里有个呀，这一个投影片。How we do How do we know the size of particles? 我们怎么知道粒子的大小呢 ？We do scattering experiment. 我们都呃做散射实验。For example, alpha particle just you know is blocked by papers. 阿尔法射线会被纸给挡住。Because their size is not really small. 因为它们大小其实不小。This is analogy that okay, so for small fishes can pass through this net. Yeah, 就像小鱼能穿过渔网的网目一样。Big fish cannot. 但是大鱼不可以。Okay, so beta particle is smaller than alpha particle. They can pass the papers, but blocked by our hand. Beta 射线比 alpha 射线小，但是它没有办法穿过我们的。Smaller particle gamma. 呃，更小的 gamma 射线。Can pass through even hand. 呃，可以穿过手。But cannot penetrate concrete. 但是没办法穿过混凝土。What about neutrinos? 那微中子。That they are really really small. 它们非常非常的小。They can just pass everything. 它们可以穿过这任何东西。Why? 为什么 ？Size is really small. 因为它们的尺寸非常的小。Okay. So, so I'm going to we we are going to build we build you know the neutrino telescope. 呀，我们要建造微中子望远镜。Talking about telescope, you may think this kind of figure. 如果看到望远镜，你可能会想到这个图像。But this is wrong. 但这是错的。Why? Because <laughs> neutrinos are so small, they can just pass through all the instrument, including eyeballs and the brains. 微中子那么小，它可以穿过你的望远镜、你的眼睛，还有你的你的脑。This is not end of story. Yeah, 但这故事还没有结束。They even can pass the Earth. 它穿过地球也没有问题。Now you can imagine that how this, you know, the neutrino size is so small. 可以想象呃微中子有多么的小。Okay, so this the neutrino is the smallest particle in the world. 那它是世界上最小的粒子。We like to use this particle for telescope. 呀，我们想利用这个粒子来做呃望远镜。为什么？为什么？ 
For example, okay, so I remember this beautiful fireworks at the January 1st. Yeah, and actually I watched I, I watched this the, the fireworks from NTU. Uh, countdown, countdown, three, two, one, zero. Kiss. <laughs> Happy New Year. And then, 30 seconds later, okay, so we blocked by cloud. Yeah, 30秒後就被, what if this kind of thing happened in the universe? You know, the, probably, okay, uh, uh, somehow we are blocked by the cloud in the, in the, in the universe so that we cannot see, okay, deeper, uh, deeper space. Yeah, For example, the gamma rays, they produced by some sources and they propagate in the space. They, they are blocked by some you know, the interstellar medium, it's like dust. Even without this, you know, there's such a dust, actually the universe is filled by a photon, which is the cosmic micro background, microwave background. Very high energy particle, like a proton, and the gamma can interact with them. Uh, so that they cannot reach the Earth. Another world we cannot see very deep. Sometimes the universe or some object surrounded by this heavy dust or heavy media. In this case, we cannot see deep into. But if you use the neutrinos, okay, we cannot see actually over, okay, you know, the, or over the, you know, the social media. Another example, for example, doctors, okay, use the X-ray to see inside our body. Okay, so same as, you know, the similar as the such, a, such a thing, okay, astrophysicists use neutrinos, okay, to see inside dense environment, okay, like a sun. This is the optical image of the sun. If you use the neutrinos, we cannot see inside the sun. Okay, right now, okay, our neutrino telescope is not really okay, mature enough. Uh, Some day later, was, we li you know, I like to have the, all of these kind of image of the stars. Yeah, that's our final goal. Yeah, Another problem in the, you know, the other particles, for example, okay, universe filled by a uh, magnetic field. Yeah, during this propagation, they can be deflected if they have charge. Yeah, in this case, if the, the, the direction is deflected, we cannot point back to the source. However, neutrinos, they do not have any charge so that they can just penetrate okay, directly. Yeah, Meaning that once you detect it, we can point back to the data source. Yeah, I would say neutrino is the almost ideal, ideal particles. So it has the most ideal For it, you know, the astro, astrophysics. Okay, how we can detect the neutrinos? Actually, the principle is so simple. Yeah, Okay, we just need the transparent media, yeah, like water, ice, even plastic, whatever clear or transparent media. Yeah, and then we just wait until neutrino comes. Most of the neutrinos just pass. Why? Their size is so small. Yeah, However, just a very small probability, they interact. 
但有非常非常小的几率，这些微中子会跟物质起反应。They just sometimes interact with the media and then produce the signals. Yeah, 一旦偶尔这样起反应，它就会产生一些讯号。They can produce light. 光，光讯号。They can produce sound. 呃，声讯号。Like this kind of sound, and they can also produce a radio wave. 还有电波讯号。I don't know others, but you know the NIS three are already proved. 呃，可能还有其他方法，但这三种是已经被证实。Okay, this is actually very simple. 简单啊。We just need, you know, the again transmit trans transparent media. Yeah, 透明的介质。And the high quality photo detector. 非常呃高品质的光感测器。Okay, if you want, you can try in your home. 可以。Like this, just prepare many of transmit, you know, the for example, you know, ice crystal, these ice cubes. 你可以准。在家准备冰块。You borrow the some, you know, the expensive cameras. 买一个好的相机。And wait, just wait for this kind of blue light coming. Yeah, 就等等。That's produced by the neutrino interaction. Yeah, 如果有微中子进来的话。If you see this in your home. 如果你在家看到这个蓝光的话。Congratulations, that's your Nobel Prize. Yeah, 恭喜你，这是诺贝尔的发现。Actually, this is a fake. This is an LED crystal. Actually, well, I I just prepare for the educative. Yeah, oh, this this is not real. This is actually LED put in there. I think that's not happened to you, unfortunately. Yeah, this this is actually not very rare. Why? Because interaction probability is so rare. Yeah, this is very 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 low probability. Also, number of neutrinos, okay, so rare. Yeah, the neutrinos are very very few. You may need about you may need to wait about the ten to the thirteen years. Yeah, you may need to wait about ten to the thirteen years to have a world. Oh my God! Ten to the thirteen years. <laughs> yeah, ten thousand years. This amazing, you know, that time we cannot wait. Yeah. Even, you know, this. At least I cannot wait. Yeah, we're not going to wait. Maybe the student raise your hand. Okay, maybe can continue this experiment. Yeah, if students have interest, can yeah, continue this experiment. Okay, so we like to, you know, they reduce the search of time for to discover this kind of, you know, the neutrino signals. Yeah, we want to reduce the time to find to detect this signal. Do you have any good idea? Uh, 有好的方法吗 ？So simple. Just increase the number of crystals. Yeah, 就把这个物质的量增加就好。We just need big amount of target volume. Yeah, 我们只要非常大的一个靶。To reduce the time. 来减少我的观测时间。For example, low energy neutrino physics. Okay, people made the huge size of chamber. 要比较低能的微中子，呃，科学家建造这个很大的一个呃空腔。For very high energy neutrino physics, actually this chamber, big size of chamber, is not sufficiently large. Yeah, 但是对高能的微中子来讲，这这个侦测器还不够大。They use the you know the the the, the ocean water. Yeah, 这时候我科学家用的是海水。They are all ongoing experiment. 呃，这是目前正在进行的实验。But in our case, we choose ice. 哎呀，但我们在这边用的是冰当做靶。Why? Because ice is really good for this experiment. First, South Pole ice is big. 呀，这个我们用冰的好处是，第一个，南极的冰非常的多。嗯、mm -hmm. ，Also, the the very clear. 非常的纯净。Again, here, neutrino comes. Normally, they pass by, but sometimes they interact with ice. 呀，像这里，大部分的微中子其实是穿过去不反应，但是。We just prepared lots of photo sensors. Yeah, we're in the middle preparing many camera sensors. Actually, this is very expensive photo sensors. Yeah, but every one is very expensive. And then, when they produce light from neutrino interaction, yeah, if there's light from this neutrino interaction, then we can detect their amount of light. Yeah, we can detect the amount of light from this neutrino interaction. Also, we can detect their direction. We can detect the direction of the neutrino. We eventually find their energy. As well as their direction. We can predict the energy of the neutrino and the direction. In principle, this is a very simple experiment. Yeah, it's very simple. The problem is going there is a little bit challenging. Yeah, but going there is a challenge. And this is South Pole. Picture of the South Pole from the aerial view. Oh, this is the South Pole. This is so much different from what I expected, actually. The teacher expected it to be different. Just the flat ice. Yeah, just flat. Some buildings, stations, and oh, even there is an airport skyway. Yeah, there's a train station and a airport. 
Scientists used this area to build the ice cube detector. Yeah, ice cube detector is just at the side. Okay, so Tokyo was my road trip to South Pole. So it was my dream. Okay, normally we go to the New Zealand first. Uh, 通常我们到南极是先到纽西兰。From the New Zealand, we have to take the U.S. Air Force airplane. 我们搭乘呃美国空军的军机。Arrived at McMurdo Station, which is the biggest the station in Antarctica. 到达美国呃也就也是南极最多人的麦麦克默罗站。Take the another plane. 再搭另外一个。From McMurdo Station to South Pole. 到南极 ，It takes roughly several days. Yeah, 大概要花好几天。Every step we have to stay several nights. Yeah, 每每一每一个地每个地点可能要停好几天。Especially because of bad weather. Yeah, 通常是因为天气不好的关系。It is really long journey. Yeah, 所以非常的漫长。The very tiresome. Yeah, 非常的非常的累人。Okay. On the airplane, so this is the seat for scientists. Yeah, 这是给科学家的座位啊。<sighs> okay, sometimes it takes seven, uh, six hours. Sometimes it takes about twelve hours. 有时候花七个小时，有时候花十二个小时。Depending on what kind of airplane. Yeah, 依照军机的不同。It was, you know, the twelve hours plane. Yeah, 这是十二小时的那一班。It was really, really painful. 非常痛苦。There, there, there was no flight attendant service. Yeah, 没有空姐空少。There's no, no much space to move around. Yeah, 几乎没有没有地方可以动身。But I found the soldier. Okay, he has a bed, his own bed. Yeah, 美国大兵可以躺在床上。Okay, I will say, okay, scientist. Okay, so always use the economy class, and the soldiers use the first class. 科学家、经济舱、军人可以坐头等舱。But still, we love to go there. 但我们还是想到那边去。为什么？为什么 ？Because of science. 为了科学。Anyway. So I just arrived in the South Pole. Okay, this is the moment I achieved my dream. 这是老师到达南极的那一刻。I was really 很高兴。很高兴。But soon later, I was got confused. I I got confused. 嗯，老师被搞糊涂了。Why? I went there because my name is South. 老师姓南。However, at the South Pole. 在南极点的时候。All directions are north. I lost my dream. Another thing, I got a little bit feeling strange. 老师觉得奇怪的是 ，When I visited, you know, the ceremonial pole, just just next to the real geo geo geographic South Pole. Yeah, 在地理南极点旁边有个仪式。There are beautiful, beautiful flags. Yeah, 有好个好多个国旗。But I didn't find a Korean flag. 没有韩国国旗啊。No Taiwan flag. 没有台湾国旗啊。为什么？为什么 ？I didn't know they really welcome or welcome us or not. 我不知道他是不是真的欢迎我呢 ？Anyway, so we went there to build the south, you know, the 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 the, the ice cube detector. 啊、uh, ，我们到那边建造这个便利方望远镜。Ice cube detector consists of the many high quality photo sensors. 呃、uh, ，ice cube 是有呃很多高品质的感测器。First, they drill the hole. 呀、yeah, ，他先钻洞。Whole depth is about three kilometers. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. Means that thickness of ice is three kilometers. 也就是三公里厚的冰。This is really amazing. Yeah, 非常惊人的。Taipei 101 here. 就是台北一零一在这边。Only 500 meters. 五百公尺。阳明山。阳明山。Thousand meters. 一千公尺。Uh huh. 阳明山 here. 后后半山 here， 后半山。两合欢山这么高。How they build? How they you know they make a hole? Okay, about the depth of the three kilometers. Yeah, 他怎么钻三公里的洞呢 ？Right after they make the hole with a hot water drill. 他们用热水钻了三公里的洞。They deployed this this photo sensors. 再把这个感测器往下放。There are about eighty strings and many many thousand, three thousand. I forgot actually. Okay, thousand of you know photo sensors. 这里有。八十几个钻孔，还有上千个感测器在里面。It took about 15 years from the Amanda, which is the first experiment. 从第一个实验阿曼达开始，这里花了十五年才完成。Fifteen years is long time. 要非常长的时间。But it took a lot of money. 也花了很多钱。Waiting several years after they complete. 要呃完成后的几年。They eventually detected neutrino signals. This was the one of the historical result. 
Unfortunately, my, my authorship was you know, expired. But I, I was really happy to see this kind of result. And later on, they collected more data. They want to see the map of the neutrinos on the sky. This is the source of the neutrinos, ultra high energy neutrinos. Can you see, can you identify the source of neutrinos? Not really. Why? Because the number of neutrinos are not really you know, enough. We need more number of neutrinos. It may require 10 times more data. Probably we may need to wait about 50 years to get more beautiful results. Can you do it? So I cannot wait again. Only solution is that we have to make the bigger detectors. This is a question, how we can build the bigger detectors? Three kilometers height. Oh, so do you remember how much does it cost to build the ice cube detectors? No idea. Maybe million. I roughly remember this as about 400 USD for initial, initial, actual initial cost. Mm -hmm. 400 USD. Four how, how? Yeah. Can you can you trade? You know, can you convert to the anti dollars? Four four hundred. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 400 million. Uh, 400 million USD. Oh, 4 million USD. Oh, 4 million USD. To build these kind of detectors, okay, that cost a lot of time or a lot of money. I don't think even U.S. can afford this. How can we build 100, the 10 times or 100 times bigger detectors? We need a new idea. Okay, I told you, I, I told you, neutrino interaction produces light and the sound and the radios. Among these, there should be better signals. For, for example, inside the eyes, okay, for, you know, the, you need a rescue, you, you need to send a message to your girlfriend here, okay? You can use the light source, okay, light signals to send the messages. I need help. You can yell, okay, I need help, please come. Or you can use the radio. Which is the most efficient, actually, it turned out the radio is the best. Because they travel long. Okay, so radio can be the good, good signals, a good, good, good method to detect. Yeah, Question is, okay, we have to confirm that neutrinos can, neutrinos can produce radio signals. Which was predicted a long time ago by Askarian, uh, you know, the, the Russian scientist, okay, you know, the Askarian. Unfortunately, he died, you know, very young. Our collaborator noticed this, the, his prediction. Uh, wanted to confirm in the laboratory. We put the, the eyes in the laboratory. And the produce, you know, they put, you know, the... The, the large of electrons you know, the inside the target, which is a very similar condition as neutrino interaction. We found the big radio pulses coming out from the eyes. It was great news. Why? We can use the radio signals. If you use the radio signals, 
We can save a lot of money and time. We can save a lot of money and time. So how we can use the you know the the eyes okay to increase the the volume? 呃，我们要怎么用冰来增加呃观测的体积呢 ？Our idea is to use the entire actually almost the entire Antarctic ice. 呀，我们的想法是用整个南极大陆的冰当做靶。Just to wait, for example, from the sky. 呃，我们想象我们在天空。We just we just look for the signals you know coming from the eyes. Because a big size of eyes, because the size is so big, we can reduce the operate the detection time. 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 We can reduce Use the 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 uh, use the NASA balloon. We just you know to go to the 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 very high sky. Uh, 掉在热气球上可以到高空中。And look down the eyes. 然后往下看看这些冰层。To look in to look for uh, the the to search the the neutrino interaction uh, the, the the radio signals from the neutrino interaction. 来侦测微中子反应后产生的电波讯号。Re, later it turned out that. 哦、oh, ，后来我们发现。Not only neutrinos, but also we can detect the cosmic signals. We can also see 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 And solar panels for the electric power. Yeah, use 太阳能板来发电 Just fly. 然后把它升空 Once you fly, you just travel around the Antarctica with the polar vortex. 呃，我们就用南极高空的喷流，然后让热气球在那边环绕 It takes roughly about thirty days. 呃，每次飞行大概花了三十天 One time was not sufficient, so then we went the second time. Second time was not really perfect. We went the third time. Two times we went three times. Only the first time and the third time we found a very exciting result, so we went the fourth time. In the second and third time, we found a very good result, so we went the fourth time. We like to continue. Yeah, we want to continue until maybe all the people retired. Yeah, we want to fly until everyone is retired. Lots of lots of effort. Yeah, there are a lot of work in it. Actually, we couldn't see. Unfortunately, we couldn't see neutrino signals. 但目前为止我们还没有发现微中子的讯号。Sorry, I'm gonna go back. Okay, we couldn't see the neutrino signals here, but we discovered the cosmic ray signals instead. Instead. 呀，但我们发现许多呃宇宙射线的讯号。This was the signal. 呃，这是讯号长的样子。For example, we observed the 16 ultra high energy cosmic ray event. 呀，十六个极高能宇宙射线的事件。This was the great news. Yes, very big. Because this brought new method to detect the new, the ultra high energy cosmic rays. Yeah, this is a new method to detect the ultra high energy cosmic rays. It turned out that using radio is so efficient way to detect neutrinos as well as you know cosmic rays. Yeah, so you can see that radio can detect the cosmic rays and the ultra high energy cosmic rays. So, okay. Mike, you know they all, you know they why we are you know why we are doing the Anita experiment? Ah, 为什么做 Anita 的实验呢 ？I had a question. Okay, can you do the same science in the Taiwan? 那我们可以做一样，在台湾做一样的事情吗 ？Why? 为什么 ？Because my name is South. 因为我姓南。South Pole is not the place for me. 南极不是我的地方。We have to go to the north. 我们要去北方。Taipei. 台北。So you know, the, our idea is to do the similar science in the you know the Taiwan. Uh, 要在台湾做一样的事情，类似的事情的话 ，We don't have NASA balloon in in Taiwan. 要我们没有 NASA 的高空的气球。However, we have the high mountains. 但我们有高山。We don't have the ice surface. 我们没有冰表面。We but we have the ocean surface. 但我们有海的表面。Ocean surface, ocean, you know, the sea water is salty. 要海水是咸的。Because of that, it can reflect the radio signals. 
因此它是导电是可以反射电波的讯号。See here, this is almost the same. Yeah,这几乎一样的概念. As Anita, 就像Anita一样. We can detect the cosmic signals. 我们可以侦测宇宙射线. Reflected off from surface of sea. Yeah,从海面反射的讯号. Fortunately, Taiwan has many high mountains along the east coast. 呃，在台湾在东部有非常多的高山. When I went to the east coast for first time for this, you know, the survey, I got amazed because of this slope. 好，第一次到东部高山、东部海岸的时候，看到非常的惊讶。Although this height is not really high as like Anita, but still at you know the about thousand or two thousand meters, okay, this we can we can still see the lots of lots of surface. 虽然不像呃高空的气球那么高，但是 Basically, all of the seas are our reflector. Yeah, 这所有的海面都可以当做反射面一样。Another advantage is a high duty cycle. 呃，就是说我们运作的效率是非常高。Duty cycle means the how long time you can operate the detectors. 呃，这意思是说我们，比如一年之中，我们有多少时间可以？Remember Anita? 呃，就像Anita一样。Anita can fly only thirty days for flight. Flight. Yeah, Anita is just for 30 days. 30 days per one flight, but they cannot go every year. Uh, they can't go every year. Roughly two or three years. Only can fly 30 days. Two or three years can fly 30 days. Only can fly 30 days. Two or three years can fly 30 days. Only can fly 30 days. However, our our approach can operate our you know the detectors always. But in Taiwan, we can go every day. Almost the cycle 100 percent. Yeah, almost 100 percent. Day and night. Summer and winter, except typhoon. Yeah, except typhoon. Actually, we damaged our system during typhoon. Yeah, we have a typhoon. As soon as we had such an idea, we quickly built, we designed. Yeah, we just redesigned our system. And we made the detect, you know, the antennas ourselves. Yeah, we ourselves built the antennas. We made all the amplifiers ourselves. Yeah, we built all the amplifiers ourselves. Yeah, we built all the amplifiers ourselves. Also, the trigger system ourselves. Uh, built our own trigger system. Uh, we wanted to build uh, the, the build the digitized oscilloscope ourselves. Well, we found a very cheap digitizer made in Taiwan. Yeah, we just purchased from the company. Yeah, and we complete all the things within six months. Yeah, we found a very nice location in the Hoping nearby Hualien. Yeah, we in Hualien Hoping Town. Uh, this is the cement companies. Uh, this is the cement company. They provide the old tower for us. Yeah, I want, we wanted to build the new, very nice looking towers. Yeah, but we don't have enough money for the first time. Yeah, we just, you know, the happy, we were just happy to rec you know, recycle their tower. Yeah, we just recycled their tower. Uh, just repainted it yeah, and installed the, our devices. Yeah, this was the first our observatory in the Taiwan yeah, for ultra high energy cosmic rays. Yeah, uh, as soon as we built, yeah, our work is not you know, the finished yet. Yeah, we have to confirm, we have to verify our, our system is working. Yeah, we have to confirm, we went down along the coast. Yeah, we went down to the coast. Prepared antennas. Yeah, put the radio signals up. Send artificial pulses. Yeah, send the radio signals up. We successfully detected it. Yeah, this is what we detected. Yeah, we verified our system is working. 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 Yeah, we verified our system is so we can our resolution, our pointing resolution less than 0.2 degrees. Yeah, our resolution can uh, 0.2. It was excellent. We demonstrated. Yeah, we, uh, we, we tried. We can do this so well. But it was just the, you know the the prototype stations. Yeah, this is just a prototype station. Main purpose is to understand the noise around that you know the east coast. Yeah. This is the first one, so we want to know how the noise is going to be in the sea. We operate our detectors before the typhoon comes. This is what we did before the typhoon came. And to repair some of the antennas, broken antennas. Yeah, we have some of the antennas. And the father operated about one year. Yeah, and after the typhoon, we 
呃 run 了大概一年。And we detected many of noises. 我们发现很多 noise 杂讯。And we identified all the noise sources. Yeah, we found these noise sources. Of course, they are related to human beings' activities. Yeah, all related to human activities. For example, power plants. Yeah, like power plants. Cement companies. There are power plants. 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 There are Yeah, we can use it to detect the Tarot Two antennas. Yeah, this is the second antenna. So now we have actually we got money. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from the Tarot Two business. Yeah, we have money from Yeah, even during typhoon. Yeah, in typhoon, I display one antenna. Looks like Christmas tree. Yeah, this is yeah Taiyu's antenna. This is our own invention. Yeah, this is our own invention. Actually, this everybody knows the you know the all the 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 antenna scientists know these antennas. However, we improve this a little bit to be strong. Uh, yeah, actually, do antenna people, actually, they all know this. It turned out that such a design. Can make antennas survive, okay, even during the the highest wind of the typhoon. Yeah, to 改改善它的结构使它可以抗台风。And we operated many years. Yeah, 我们运作了好几年。We we we got the signals from the cosmic rays. Yeah, 我们看到类似呃宇宙射线的事件。We we got we we get the data. Event you know the cosmic ray event almost one per week. Yeah, 大概每个礼拜可以看到一个。Uh, we continue to, you know, the, to build the third, third, the third stations. Appearance looks better and better. Yeah, 越来越好看 We found a better location. Yeah, 呃，地点更好 Also, we had, you know, the double antennas per channels. Yeah, 每一个通道我们有两个天线 To increase the gain. Yeah, 去增增加它的灵敏度 Or to reduce the noise. Oh, actually, this I I I showed here. Actually, we we combine the two the two two antennas and then the two gain the gain. Yeah, 就像图这边一样，我们把两个天线结合起来，来增加它的灵敏度。Also, we learned that although this is east coast less population, 虽然东边的人比较少 ，in fact noise is a lot. 但还是有非常多的杂讯。Because of that, we have to make the new the we have to improve the our the trigger system. 所以我们要改善我们呃取消方法。To avoid artificial noises, noise. 去避免取到这些人为的杂讯。Okay, for example, this is the first the Tarago the 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 spectrum. For example, this is the frequency as a function. A detected frequency of the radio signal for the first time. Uh, 频率对时间的。You see the many lead lines. 这水平的线。Means that is you know the the radio signals from somewhere. Yeah, 这代表说从某个地方来的一些杂讯。And the new device, okay, doesn't have the such a strong lines. Yeah, 这是新的站就没有没有看到这些杂讯。Okay, we succeed to improve our sensitivity. Yeah, 我们增加。This is not the end of the story. Yeah, 但故事还没结束。We promised the government most to build the, you know, the many stations up to six. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best stations. We went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, the east coast to look to look for the best sites. Yeah, we went through the all the, you know, We we did the deep search the the site you know the about you know the 15 kilometers far from the original location. 我们在呃原本的站十几公里地方找一个新的点。It turned out this is the best in the Taiwan. Yeah, 发现这个是台湾里面呃最好的地点。This is the radio spectrum noise spectrum in around this point. 呃，这个是在那些地点取到的资料频谱。Okay, if there's a vertical line, this is the Kind of, for example, this. What is this? This is FM, right? Yeah, FM. Uh, 在那个那些那些一个一个尖，那个是广播电台广播的讯号。Oh, this is I think the C. I think this is satellite. Uh, 那些是卫星通讯的
Some of walkie walkie talkies. Yeah, 那边是对讲机的讯号。Many these noises appear and disappear. Yeah, 这些就是起起落落的。So, but we can use this kind of quiet region. 但可以看到有一些比较安静的频段是我们可以使用。This is the one of the best. 这是在。Yeah, If you go to another place like Thai, what's that? Thai, Thai Dong. Okay, actually, this almost, almost garbage. Yeah, in we go to Thai Dong, but that place, uh, noise is too much. We got lucky actually to find this kind of very nice location. Yeah, we are actually very lucky. Yeah, we hope that we can build, you know, the two more stations this year. Yeah, we next year will build two more stations. We got to finish before typhoon comes. Yeah, we got to finish before typhoon comes. Okay, good luck. So how? <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's turn to the next. The but I told you, okay. I I I went back to Antarctica, okay. You know, this year. Yeah. 但就像之前讲，我们又又回去南极。It was just one month ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. We just. 在一个月前而已。Yeah. That's right. Yeah. One month ago. Yeah. 我们一个月前才回回到台湾。Why? Because new discovery. Yeah, this. Why? Why? 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 Because new discovery. Yeah, this. Why? Oh, the solar system turns the dots is is down. What it detected was up upward. Uh, 但是我们看到讯号是往上。It turned out that is reflected off from the surface. 也就是说，这些讯号是被冰表面给反射上来。Sometimes cosmic ray can hit directly to the Anita without reflection. 但有时候宇宙射线可以的讯号可以直射到 Anita. We can distinguish two of them. 我们可以分辨这两个讯号。By looking the direction. 可以从讯号是从哪边来的？来分辨。Not only direction, but also phase. 呃，不只是它的方向嘛，可以从它的相位来分辨。Because wave, radio wave, when radio wave reflected off. 呃，当这些讯号被反射起来的时候 ，their phase flipped. 它的相位会反向。Let's recall this demonstration when we learn, you know, the, which we learn, you know, the in the high school. 啊，这个是一个。This is on the cosmic rays. 老师是宇宙射线。I'm gonna produce radio wave. 它要产生电波的讯号。It's a surface. 我是冰表面。During reflection. 若在反射的时候。Face must be flipped. 你会看到这个波会反向。Chance is just one. 我们只做一次哦。Don't miss it. 不要不要错过。I'm going to produce upper polarity. So, the teacher wants to do a rotation. When you return, this must be opposite. So, when it turns back, you can see that it goes down. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. One more. Going up, coming down. Up, down. All the reflection, radio reflect, On the dense surface, it changed the phase. It changed the phase. <coughs> my question was, my question was, uh, 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 reflection? <laughs> 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 my question was, what about this situation? If you detected all board signals, but phase is not changed. What does it mean? It just came without reflection. Is it possible? It was my question. It may be produced by the orbit shower. Orbit moving shower, sorry. How shower can produce moving orbit? Millions and millions of particles going upward. This is amazing. This is amazing. If you detect it, it may be produced by the tau neutrino interaction. 
I did not explain the tau neutrinos very well. However, this is one of brotherhood in the neutrinos. They can interact in the ice. They produce the tau. Tau have a very short lifetime. They can, they, can, they can decay into the many particles. If this is true, we can detect these kind of very funny signals. We went through all the data, all the data. Amazingly, we found it. This is the signal. And then collaborators did another advanced data analysis. Not only Anita 1, but also Anita 3 data. They found another one. It was amazing. Talking about this event, we have the two events. Their energy is 10 to the about the EEB. Is that this is 10 to the 18 electron volt? This is 10 to the 18 electron volt. Also, their angles. That's about minus roughly minus 30 degrees. Its angle is 30 degrees. Coming up. From the earth down. That's amazing. Yeah, very amazing. Also, we calculated the expected background. Yeah, more than the expected background. We calculated back background. We estimated the background is very very low. Hmm. This, uh, not likely is Meaning that this must be real signals. This is the real signal. This is amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big problem, actually. That's a big problem, actually. This is a very big problem. Why? Because of their angles. Why? Because of their angles. If this angle is about the 30 degrees, 如果它是三十度地底来的 ，means that neutrinos just travel through this earth. 呀，这个伟忠只要穿过地球。I told you neutrinos just pass can pass through the earth. 但我们之前讲，呃，伟忠是可以穿过地球。That's for only low energy neutrinos. 那是低能量的伟忠是才可以穿过地球。After eating a lot of a lot of energies, they size become large. Scientists believe that they cannot, you know, the such energy neutrinos can they cannot travel such a long distance in the Earth. 照理来说，这么高能的微中子不太可能穿过这样这么厚的地层。This distance is about two order of order of magnitude, you know, they are longer than the standard model. 这个比物理学家呃标准模型预测的还要长一百倍。Nobody could understand yet. 所以我们目前还没有人。知道为什么 ？It was a really big issue, big big news last year. 呀，这是去年的其中科学大新闻。Actually, nobody knows in Taiwan. 呀，在台湾好像没有人知道。But if you look at the internet, many news around here. 呀，在网络上有非常多的报道。Actually, this is one of the same, you know, several samples. 也是其中几个。Many of many of news coverages. 嗯，这呃新闻都有报道到阿尼塔。Uh, I like this news title. This 2018 finding could be big news if they turned out to be true. They don't believe this is really true yet. Why? Because we just detected two events. So at least we need three, four, maybe ten or hundred events. So everybody looking for such a chance to confirm these are really truth. Yeah, we need more time to confirm this is true. My desire is to confirm this kind of event is really true or not. We want to confirm this thing. We have proposal to do the Anita Five flight. Yeah, we actually have sent Anita Five flight. I don't know when Anita Five flight can happen. Maybe several flight in ten ten years or twenty years. 要可能接下来十年二十年还有几次才可以再飞几次。Again, I cannot wait. 但是我们等不下去啊。Because of that, I come up with another idea. 所以我想到一个新的方法。My idea is. 它的方法是。To move our Tarago station on the Antarctica. 我们把。You guys are now very familiar with this concept. Yeah, 大家应该很
走西这样的。Just change the location from Taiwan to Antarctica. 就是把台湾的高山搬到南极的高山。But Tai, you know, I found this big mountain about three kilometers high nearby Korean stations. 但我们在南极，在韩国的南极站那边找到一个三公里高的高山。I talked to them if they allowed us or not. 哦，所以我问，呃，他韩国的人这边 O 不 OK？ Amazingly, they say yes. Okay, come. Yeah, 他们说 OK， 来吧。The, this location is really good. Yeah, 这个地方是个好地点。Because this this is not Taiwan, Antarctica. Yeah, 这也不是台湾，这是南极。Basically, no one, no one live there. 所以没有人住在那边。No one produce noise. 所以就没有人产生杂讯。Really, this is one of the best. Really, I actually not one of the best. Okay, this is really truly best location for radio experiment. 对，这是一个最最棒的电波的。Only thing was the accessibility to reach there. Yeah, 这个问题是怎么到那边呢？ I learned that day Korean station have the helicopters. 但但南韩站有直升机。Just takes 15 minutes to go there. 要只要花十五分钟就可以到那。Actually, this is better than going to Taiyoko from Taipei. 要这比台北到泰。It requires about three hours for driving. 要我们要花三个小时开车到那边。Also, the problem one of the problem is the Changbogo station is only you know the three thirty kilometers away. 要这个。南韩的张保高基地大概三十公里到。However, we can install this northern or the opposite direction. 但我们可以背对着这个基地站建造我们的天线站。Okay, it was it turned out really it it turned out a really great location for this our purpose. 那我们后来发现这个是一个非常好的地点。As soon as they say yes. 那当他们说 OK 以后。We designed our system. 我们就很快开发我们的系统。We couldn't exactly copy our Tarugo station because of these, you know, transportations. 我们没有办法呃带我们泰鲁格的设计过去。Because the helicopters are expensive. 呀，因为呀运直升机运输很贵。We we designed these kind of you know the antenna towers. 所以我们重新设计了天线。To be very light. 非常的轻量。Was very easy to you know the install. 呀，安装简单。Oh, so this is the one of the model we built. 啊，这个是就是泰泰鲁格 M 的天线塔。The to build this, you know, the one tower, it takes about thirty minutes. 呀，大概花半个小时就可以把整个塔组装起来。We build the three of these towers. 哦，我们在山上架了三个这样的天线塔。Not only these towers, we still have to design. We have to. We still have to design electronics. 呀，不止天线塔，我们还有电子系统需要。But we are very specialized for this. 呀，但是我们已经呃非常擅长。For example, amplifiers and filters. 呀，像滤波器啊，放大器。Power control systems. 呀，电源控制。Digitizers actually we borrow from a very nice one from the UC Irvine. 呃，在数位转换器这边，我们是跟呃加州大学。Also, we are very specialized for the data, you know, the data acquisition system controlling, controlling. 呀，我们其实对数据截取系统也有一些。Also, we have the satellite antenna to transmit data. 然后我们用卫星通讯来传回我们的数据。It just happened. It we just complete all the design and the production within four months. 我们在四个月，呀，大概四五个月，我们就把整个系统给设计还有制造完了。And then we still have to go to the Korean station. 呀，然后我们接下来去南国韩国站。Unfortunately. 但不幸的是。Korean Korean station doesn't operate airplane. 但是韩国站没有飞机。Instead, they have the big boat. Ice breakers, 就是破冰船。It takes about seven days to go. 大概花七天才能到南极。We have to stay there about thirty-five days. 我们要在南极洲待大概三十天。Until next boat comes. 等到下一班船来。Also, when you come back, it takes about ten days. 我们回程的时候又花了大概十天左右。I missed a lot of a lot of classes actually because of that. 呀，所以老师错过很多课。Tomorrow I have to do the makeup class. 他明天要补补课 ，for for six hours， 呀，上六个小时的补课。Anyway, we got excited. Okay, I'm here. Uh, the rest of Zhongzhou, raise your hand. Ran away. Ran away. Okay, <laughs> Doctor uh, Liu Zhongzhou here, and then the third third member. Okay, so Mr. Wang here. Unfortunately, the, the our member number of members are you know the limited because we applied late. It must be very hard time. Yeah, this is very difficult. The first, the first night we had a very nice dinner. Yeah, we the first night had a very nice dinner. And then because of wave, it was really hard. Yeah, 
This is one of the figures I took you know, during ice breaking. It was really, really wonderful, you know, wonderful view at the, the scenery. Not only here, the other side, we, we could see the beautiful mountain, mountain sceneries. However, my colleague, Mr. <laughs> Dr. Zhongzhe, uh, uh, suffering from like, you know, the serious uh, the motion sickness. Yeah, uh, they, actually, they, my Korean colleagues asked me, as, what about you know, the, your Taiwanese colleague? I said, okay, they are all like dead body. You can see roughly there, he, his face is kind of a little bit, you know, the painful. The Mr. Wang stayed here. His face was like this. It was really, really, really difficult. Eventually, we got, you know, the Changbogo station. Actually, the, the beautiful weather, you know, they welcome us. But I didn't like to, you know, the return. Zhangbogo station like this. This is new station built by Korean Polar Program. About 60 people can stay during summer. It was a facility was pretty good. Yeah, also food was good. Uh, lots of kimchi. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this also the Korean Jangbogo station welcome us. Yeah, the, they kindly fly our the, the Taiwanese flag. Yeah, This was a remark remarkable moment. Actually, I could see some of good feeling, deep feeling from you know their face. I wanted to take a good photo of the Taiwanese flag. But it was almost impossible because of no wind at that time. So I took another, oh, so this is repeating. Ah, I have the trouble controlling it. Maybe I have to push this. Next. <laughs> Do you feel it good? Do, do you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel very hot in your, in, in your heart? I feel very cold <laughs> listening to this. <laughs> So now we have to prepare our instrument. We assemble there. And we ship there. And we ship on the, the truck and the move to the helicopters. Also, we have to test our devices. So during this test, test we brought the unexpected visitor. I'm calling he is a visitor. Actually, we are the visitors. <laughs> All right. <coughs> okay. After we have, you know, they prepared all the instruments, we have to go to Mount Melbourne. Yeah. This photo I took on the, on the, the helicopter. Yeah. Uh, it's me. This is maybe this Suhao. This is Zhongzhe. I don't know. Okay. They are, you know, they behind me. <laughs> so I, ha I prepared. How many minutes I have? Oh, sorry. This is kind of okay. I have the several several videos to show. Okay. This is a long video, so maybe I can can I go. We are getting close. Getting close. Okay. Getting close. We are turning around, or maybe go back a little bit. Yeah. Okay, getting close. That's the Mount Melbourne, the best location in the world for our purpose. Our dream was there, almost there. 
I'm taking this video for future the 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 extension. To find another locations to build more number of antennas. You can see the very nice locations here and there. Several years later, I hope you feel the uh, you cover this mountain by many antennas. We're almost there. We skip it. Okay, as soon as we land, we just start our you know, construction. Okay, we build the, you know, the tower like this way. Because we prepared very well, it was quick. But still it was painful because of the low temperature wind. We overcome. Eventually build our first Tarogo, state, Tarogo M station in the Antarctica. For example, Anita experiment. I didn't tell you about you know, the ARA experiment. Many of the experiments we are participating in was international collaboration. This is first our own detectors in Antarctica. But we didn't expect very much because this is first time, you know, the prototype station. For the first RF survey to see this noise condition. Also, we have to find, we have to see the where is, you know, the possible available locations. Also, we have to test how reliable or how it is, you know, the easy, you know, the, to get there. So how much you know the load we can how we can pack for the 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 the, the, the helicopter transportations? Yeah, also how we can install these towers because we didn't know the surface condition. Yeah, because we are the first one to install such a detect such a towers. Yeah, we we have a lot of lots of difficulties. Yeah, we eventually figured it out how we can build, how we could build. It was really okay. Do you feel this beauty? This is beautiful. But at least I feel, you know, this beautiful antennas. But here, do you feel beautiful? This antenna? But I feel very, I feel this is very beautiful. So, you know, after this talk, I'm going to move these antennas to my office. <laughs> it was in our lab. Mm. To celebrate our success, we have a you know, special dessert. So we make the mango bean. <laughs> Just we got these ice from this outside. <laughs> uh, we found the mango from the kitchen. <laughs> uh, even we add some milk. <laughs> mango night bean. Mango night bean. We waited about 10 days for better, you know, you know, 10 days we spent because, you know, just waiting because of wind. Just one day before, okay, final boat, you know, the departure. We got a chance to, install, to, to complete everything. We went there. Oh my God, our antenna become... <laughs> I think because we ate mango bean. <laughs> anyway, so we successfully installed our detectors and then this is a waveform we took. There are unexpected, you know, the, the, the man-made noise. We figured it out this is from the Changbogo station. Next year we're gonna have the special filter to kill all of these, you know, the CWs, the noises. noises. Except this, except this noise condition is really good. This is almost the same as the best location in this, the other experiment, which is Ariana. 
so we are pretty sure, okay, so we, we, we can do great science, you, you know, the, in this location. Oh, this is the, the you know, the one of the, 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 you know, the detected event. The beautiful impulsive signals. But the spectrum doesn't look like exactly the same as what you expected. Probably this is noise. However, we, are, we just demonstrate that okay, our you know, the detectors of the detectors are uh, you know well functioning. Yeah, but we can see from this that our system is working normally. Okay, that it was just one month ago. Yeah, this is last month's data. We have plan. This is our plan. Our ambition is our ambition is to build about ten stations. Oh, sorry, I missed the S here. Ten stations. Yeah, we build about ten stations. To proclaim discovery of the upcoming event, yeah, 来验证这个 Anita 哇，这个向上事件。呃 ，using ten stations， 呃，用这个十个天线站。We may be able to detect ten or twenty event in five years. 我们可能可以看到类似十到二十个这样的事件。I hope that we are the first one to proclaim the discovery. 呀，我们希望我们会是第一个来宣布这样的发现。Once this is successful， 呀，如果这样成功的话。We must build more stations. We can build more stations to identify the source. We can further say that these events are from where. It must be great, great science. This is a very, very big scientific advance. So are you okay? So we need about ten, ten stations. Yeah, we need about 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 ten stations. Okay, so I'm almost done. Uh, before finish, is, uh, I'm going to share just a short story. I read a book on the boat. It was really, really difficult to read. Because of the wave. I was but however, I was much better than other two colleagues. Okay, it was about the sapiens, okay, the history of the human being. Human being. Oh, this is human history. One of the story he showed a map. This is one of the pictures. This is a world map drawn in the you know the 15th century. Yeah, this is 15th century map drawn in the 15th century. He pointed out that this all the map was filled by continent. This world is filled by continents. The small amount of seas or oceans. Just a few small islands. Also, we can notice that this is only, for example, this Europe here, yeah, Africa, Northern Africa here, 北非, maybe East West, uh, the Asia here. Yeah, this is 东, uh, 东西亚. Okay, it, it, of course, at that time, it was the, their world. Yeah, this is their world. But 100 years later, 100年以后, okay, America was discovered, actually not discovered, actually recognized by Europeans. Yeah, this is also been changed drastically. Yeah, so the map has 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 been changed but another, actually, the, the, that there was a point that author, you know, this, like to like to say. But I got another impression. Between two maps. How many expeditions? How many people suffered on the boat? Motion sickness. <laughs> I got this idea because I was on the boat. Soon later, I come up with the idea. Yeah. 后来我想到一个 similar thing happened to us for our scientist. 就是科学家其实也经历一样。I don't like to go through all the details. Yeah. 我不会提到里面的细节。Many of them, I I believe many of them already knew this. 但当呃观众大家应该都知道。Long time ago, we believe that our universe consists of the hydrogen, helium, or you know other heavy elements. Now scientists believe that that's only okay five percent. 
in the universe. But we found that these things are just in the universe five percent. Others must be, you know, that's a majority actually. Dark matter. In the universe, most of it is dark energy. Dark energy, that is dark energy. I'm not very specialized for this. However, neutrino can be, or you know, the, some of people believe that neutrino can be a candidate of the dark matter. Uh, I like to point it out that okay, in between between two maps, how much effort from scientists? Many of them failed. Only small of the, small number of people, a small number of people succeed. Please, okay, note such a, you know the the countless effort. So you can just simply see such a in the final understanding. But there are behind the story. Okay, so final my final slide is for our team members. This is my you know the expedition teams. Without their effort, it is almost impossible. Okay, thank you for listening. Yeah, 谢谢大家。